What's up you guys? Welcome back to the YouTube Barber Academy. So today we're actually going to be talking about the taper. And I know you guys have been asking for this for a long time, and I'm sorry it's taken so long to do another one. I've done a few on the channel, but I want to do it right. And what we're basically talking about today is also referred to as a blowout in some places. And you know, basically all we're going to be doing is tapering the sideburns out and tapering the neck out and the rest of it's fairly simple. I know I got like this gift for gab, but like let's just get into it. Okay, let's go. Uh, you guys can pretty much see what we're gonna wind up with. His hair come out pretty nice. I'm always really happy with it. He's got great hair, but it can be a challenge to cut it. If anybody out there is thinking about starting a YouTube channel, I would tell you to go ahead and do it because it's going to force you to get better at this. It's going to force you to confront your mistakes because I have filmed this client a few times in the past and I didn't want to share it because there was a little mistake here and there. And you know, it's just so hard and the camera don't lie. But anyways, um, for all of us actual barbers who are in the trenches doing this in 20, 25 minutes, this is what we can do. We're gonna start, cut the top with the number four, and we're gonna cut the back and sides with the number two. So this is still the debulking process. This is still part of my phase one. Uh, phase one just means to debulk and set your guidelines in and get everything prepared so that the rest of your haircut is just super, super easy to do. And I know it can seem like a lot when you're like looking at all these things that need to get done. I'll give you this piece of advice. Just departmentalize and work on one little thing at a time. So as of right now, we're actually moving into phase two. Uh, clipper over comb is part of phase two and in the order that I like to teach, um, that's exactly what we'll be talking about actually soon on one of the lives. So we're gonna perform our clipper over comb. I have a lot of videos on this. You guys can check into the rest of my channel for it. Um, really in-depth instructions on it. But all we're really doing is we're going from a two to a four. So if you do not feel comfortable with this, you can simply open up your three, go at it with the three open, three closed, two open, two closed, and you'll wind up in approximately the same destination I'm at where I'm basically ready to start putting in my lines. I'm gonna grab my Gamma Absolute Hitter and I'm gonna take this thing pretty high. I wanna move it up. And once I got that all wiped away, I'm also gonna just take care and just do the edge right around the sides and back there just because I wanna sort of start to visualize what the end picture is gonna look like. And you know, just to make sure that I'm, I'm working within the confines of that, that space. Now, some of you guys might ask about the Gamma Absolute Hitters. As a matter of fact, I just got a couple really cool new pairs really cool new skins and supposedly they made a lot of improvements to this this new blade so so far so good i'm gonna keep trying it out and i'll be back reporting to you guys letting you know how i feel about it but the new and improved blades on the gamma absolute hitter are fine they work they work just good uh some of you guys are probably gonna ask should i go above the ear should i curve in how should i put in the guideline and that's really dependent on how you want your end of your blend to come out i want this to come up pretty high so you know at the same time you know you're, you're kind of looking at the ear you don't want to really go too much higher above the ear um on the inside here because you're gonna be you're gonna be barely having any hair left behind his ear so you want to keep a little bit of hair so that you got that dimension and then when we do the taper in the back it all just sort of links up and it looks good and proper so once i've gotten these guidelines put in and I've done some of my edge up work. Um, I'm going to move on and I'm going to begin the blend. Uh, of course, I'm using like a brush or use something to just knock away all the loose hair so that you can kind of see what has been cut and what needs to be cut so that that way you can just be more accurate with what you're doing. All right, so in the back, I'm going to begin by sort of making like a, like a horseshoe shape or like a rainbow shape. Uh, I've actually heard people call it like a rainbow, but the reason why I'm going to do this is so that when I get to blending it out, I actually want to keep some of that hair uh, along the back of the neck so that when I line it up I can make it absolutely perfect and I got a really nice gradient that sort of disperses in that rainbow shape and you know just use your mirror and try to make sure that you get it accurate a lot of times when I'm doing these haircuts I can't really see what I'm doing because I got the I got the camera like directly in my way and stuff but just try to use your mirror use some perspective and just double check and just make sure that you're putting in a good guideline and once all our guidelines are going to complete we're going to come underneath with the electric shaver so this is sort of like the final part of phase one we haven't really done anything too complicated yet all we've done is put some lines in we've debulked and maybe the clipper over comb in that small portion of the blend 
could have been difficult but now we just want to simply release our tension as we're moving up and if you need to learn how to use the electric shaver i got a full video on the electric shaver um i haven't really seen anybody else just do a video specifically on that but that's what i just did so if you guys need to check that out go ahead and check that out other than that we just keep on rocking and rolling and we got all our sides done electric shaver works done and we're gonna get the blend started all right, so I'm gonna begin with the half attack. I got the half on. I have it one click open with my Gamma Ergos, which I absolutely love. And I'm loving those new skins that they sent me. It just looks so much cooler. Um, it's fun to change your, your stuff around and just customize it in a way that you like it. I'm gonna jump from the half and I'm gonna go straight to the one. I got the one open and I'm going against the grain. I'm keeping it flat and I'm working as, as many directions as I have to with the clipper just to make sure that it all gets cut and that I'm getting all what I can out of each guard. Some of you guys are going to ask, you know, I get lost, I get problems, I don't know what I'm doing and, and the reason is, is you're probably skipping steps. So whenever you see something is incomplete, go back and touch it up. So that's just what I'm doing right here. I'm going back with the, um, with the open, I mean, I'm going back with the trimmer and I'm just touching it up a little bit uh, just because I seen that little spot there. Now I'm going back with the with the half guard. I got it open slightly and uh, closed and we're going to just see this start to come out. You're going to see the blend start to come out and it's and it's pretty it's pretty easy. So when we when I did it with the half, I had the half closed and now I'm just going to go in with my open taper and just touch it a little bit. Remember, uh, your your half closed is is going to be actually a little bit shorter than your open taper itself. So not everybody has an easy neck to attack and I'm gonna go with the half attack. It's gonna be super easy with the half attack, but sometimes you got growth patterns that are swooping and sliding. And listen, man, not everybody needs to be uh, Insta famous. So those are the ones that don't make the Instagram, but this gentleman here, he's got some pretty good hair and the best thing we can do is just try to go against the grain and follow our same process, follow our same steps. But don't be afraid if you have to clip that, put that clipper upside down, uh, come in on the side, come in, you know, um, on the right, on the left. You, you might have to hit it a bunch of different ways to get all your money's worth out of each guard. And again, with the half attack, I got it just one click open with the Gamma Ergo. And then I'm just going to go underneath it with the open taper and we begin closing it little by little to remove that line. And it's going to just come out real nice and real easy. And one thing that I just want to caution you on is, is don't move forward until these steps are complete. There's a lot of people out there that, that wind up lost because they are on step three when they're not even done with step two. And it's just so important that you're thorough, especially in the beginning, because when you're, when you're new, you don't really know how to troubleshoot that well. So if you get yourself in some hot water, it's going to be a lot harder for you to get out of it. Now, us who've been doing this for a long time, we can, we can skip steps, we can make mistakes because we, we know exactly how to fix them. So if you wanna make this easy on yourself, just follow your steps in order, stick to your process, and you're, you're gonna find that this is gonna be pretty easy for you. So I'm going in with the one open, um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna close it down. You're gonna see I still got a little bit of weight lines there that I'm, I'm messing around with, but uh, as, as I'm looking at it and how it's, how it's starting to shape up, I like what I'm seeing. And I know that I'm gonna be able to put like a really nice edge on both sides, make it absolutely perfect. We'll get to that in a little while. Um, that's gonna be in phase five. But uh, as of right now, I'm still, I'm still into the blend. And uh, the blend, uh, I believe technically I have it labeled as phase four. And that's, that's where we're gonna spend the most time trying to learn because I think a lot of this other stuff, you'll be able to kind of figure this out. Um, but you know, the, the blend can be, can be challenging. There's a million ways to do it. Uh, but at the end of the day, it's not that bad. You're going to be able to figure this out. And uh, now the most important part for this taper is going to be the edge up. That's really what's going to make it pop. So we need to make sure that when we go through with the straight razor, um, we're, we're coming in. We want to come kind of against the grain on both sides. This is how you get those pictures perfect. And then the other thing, too, is like when you want to take that picture, make sure that your client his head isn't tilted slightly to the left or slightly to the right. And then watch where your camera position is too, because a lot of times like I've done these perfect. I know they were perfect. I look at them in the mirror. I'll go and take a picture. I think it was perfect. And then later when I post it, it's just driving me nuts. So coming in with the reverse backhand on this side, just to eliminate all that hair. Uh, he's got some sensitive skin and not all these razors are the greatest. And this one was, was one that afterwards I was like, man, it made his neck red uh, a little bit. But actually, right after I put the aftershave on, man, he was he was cool. So I'm gonna come in against the grain, 
and I really want to make sure that I got that perfect. I didn't use any enhancements on this cut or anything like that. This is just, you know, just straight up clipper work and you know that's that's what you're going to get just good solid clipper work if you follow your process and, and you stick to it so there's one last little thing that i like to do before i let anybody go i hate when there's any little hairs that are left over on the top of my hair when i cut so i would just take a little bit of uh, spray spray the hair just with some water comb it and you're going to start to see a whole bunch of them start to stick up and just go back through and just cut them one more time your client's going to thank you for it and uh you know you can you can run this clipper over their head a million times but when they do a shampoo and they come back uh and they wake up in the morning they do a shampoo they're going to look in the mirror and they're probably going to find a couple of hairs so do your best to lead the comb try to lift all the hair up make sure that you got it cut because you don't want to have a few stupid things be the reason why a client you know doesn't doesn't think you're good or doesn't respect you plenty of barbers do a great haircut and then they forget to put the sideburns even or they make one small little mistake so that's what phase six is all about and uh, i just put a little bit of gel in his hair style them up but phase six is make sure that you look at your product you wouldn't write a whole book and just hand it to an editor without even editing it at all he's not going to publish it right so why would you do a whole haircut and not even look at it and hand him the mirror so don't be the guy that hands them the mirror and then realizes, oh wait, that could be better. Oh, this could be better. So just do your once over in phase six, use your mirror for perspective, make sure that you're really happy with it before you hand over that mirror. Because when you hand over that mirror, that's you saying, this is, you know, this is the best I can do. And uh, you know, just don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you learned something about the taper or my thought process behind the taper. And uh, we're gonna do a couple more videos on some different stuff. And one other video that I have planned is like, I'm trying to come up with like five different ways to finish your sideburn. So that's one that I'm working on that I think a lot of people are really gonna like. This is the YouTube Barber Academy. I'm Mr. Eddie Barber. I wanna thank you guys for stopping in. And please like, share, subscribe because YouTube hates me and it keeps me in the very dredges of the algorithms. I don't know why. Uh, but it doesn't really suggest me to a lot of people. So this video will probably get less than 2,000 views if you guys don't help me out a little bit. All right, you guys. Until my next video, I'm out.